Okay, so a couple updates ago, somebody said they were able to actually update their car while driving. I wouldn't advise you doing this, but in case of emergency, it would be kind of nice if, like, you start the update and then you get a call and you need to go somewhere. It would be nice if you could do it. If your screen goes black, though, you don't have a speedometer, so David will be here on the phone being able to check it. Um, but we're going to test this out. It is funny though, because the app still says you have to be in park and you won't be able to drive. On the screen, it still says your car must be in park, you will not be able to drive. We're gonna test this out and try updating while driving, like starting the update. And if that doesn't work, we'll go into park, start the update, and then see if we can drive. And this is a little different. We're in the Model 3 today, but yep. of course you only have the one screen. So when that goes black, we're, we're not gonna be able to see any of the status like autopilot being on or what the speed limit is or yeah. if we're in drive or reverse. But in the Model S, it's a little different because you have that instrument cluster where you can still see your speeds. But we haven't done the update in a Model S yet, too, so we might have to try yeah. that out. It's only going to affect the center screen, but we all know you can you can drive the car with the center screen restarting. Yeah, we'll see how it works in this, and then maybe we'll try it out in S or X. And also, we do know that you can drive the Model 3 without any screen installed at all, and as we've seen in previous videos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, don't try this at home, but it does actually work. But I like having this open dash like this, to be honest. I'm down with it. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and throw this into drive here. And David's going to try to see if he can install now. Vehicle's not in park. So okay, you can't do it while you're driving, but I believe you can do it while you're in park. Sentry mode is enabled. Okay, you have to turn off sentry mode too, as many of you already know. Here we go again. Third time's a charm. So we are in park. Oh, but sentry mode is back on, so turn on. <laughs> turn sentry mode back on. Go in there. Install now. Starting update. Starting update. So try driving? Try it. What update are we on real quick, actually? Well, right now we're on 2019.28.2, so I believe you're going to be getting 2019.28.3.1. Yeah, so let's see. Oh. 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 Starting update. Oh. Oh, I'm driving. Okay. Um. Oh, well, I just thought one thing that actually, though, when you're driving, the software... Oh, no, and it does still have this four. It was saying software update in progress, but now it's showing your speed. So you're going three miles an hour. I guess uh, we'll just time lapse on this camera and see see what happens here. Yeah. Oh, it's working. So it originally it said software update in progress, but then it once we started moving, it's now showing the speed limit or That's... speed speed that we're driving. starting the update and we drove around for about 15 minutes and it says you know starting update and it was getting kind of hot so Eric decided to turn on the air conditioner and that aborted any update that might have been in I don't know if it really even started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna park here and Try it again. start the update wait like five minutes then we'll start driving yeah. and see if we can so we'll try it again so um sentry mode is off install now fourth fifth six times the charm yeah in okay. progress. Didn't before did it say starting update? Or did it say update in progress? I thought it said starting. I thought it said starting. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna let it sit for like five minutes. So at about like 6.33, we'll try driving it. So again, software update in progress and we're getting ready and you can see once we start driving, it will go away. But we're not going to touch the screen this time. Yes. Because I don't know if that messed it up or not. Oh, uh, there we go. But it's been about five minutes so far.
Okay, so we just got home. The camera literally just died. That one died a little while ago. That one. Um, but we just got home and a thing literally popped up right when we were pulling into the driveway saying, update did not complete successfully. Please wait for a new update to be sent to your car. But so that, and that was after it saying update in progress for like 30 minutes. 30 something, like over like 35 minutes. Yeah. yeah. So here we are. I'm going to go put this in the park real quick because right now I'm in hold because I didn't want that to go away and grab the big camera and we will outro this. Okay, so we just got back, got the big camera because the GoPro's died and I didn't want to do it all on my phone. Anyway, um, I no longer have a software update available on my car. And I'm missing something right there. No longer do I have a software update. And as you can see, I am still on 2019.28.2. Yeah, so, I was, I was a little uh, surprised oops. because based upon what we had read by someone online, they yeah. said they were able to install an update while driving and it worked fine. They said, you know, the screen went black, but they were able to still drive. So, so that, either A, they're fibbing, or B, Tesla changed something in the last update or two. Yeah, and they still allowed us to drive. We drove around for half an hour and yeah. then it just gave up, but at least it allowed us to drive. So had we started the car and there was an emergency, we would still been able to drive around. Yeah, if you start an update and you need to go somewhere in an emergency, you certainly can. Uh, I probably wouldn't advise it, but that's what an emergency is for, an unexpected situation. So any of you out there, have you done an update while yeah. driving? Have you experienced this? What was the outcome? Were you able to get further than we did it actually yeah. do the update? Yeah, because now I have no update pending and mm -hmm. I'm still on 28.2. They're pushing out really, really fast though because we did get it on another car earlier today. We got the oh. notification as well. So uh, two cars within like 10 minutes, is uh, they're pushing it out. Yeah, so hopefully they'll push it back out to me in the next day or so. But until now, I got no update. I guess we, we kind of broke it. Eh. I don't know. They, they, it's, it didn't crash or anything. Like it didn't that. crash literally screen. or figuratively. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh God, yeah. yeah. So yeah, let us know down below if you have done this and what your outcome has been, and we can talk about it down there. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for sponsoring the channel. If you guys that would like to accessorize Model S X or Model Three, much like this one, definitely check them out. All kinds of cool accessories. My top two favorites are going to be that center console wrap because I really do not like all that gloss black that Tesla put on there, as well as the anti-glare matte screen protector. So definitely check those out if you haven't already and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off your first order. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.